Hello, I'm the Atheist Gamer, and um, today I um, decided to make a video about this. Oh, hold on a sec. <sighs> you know, it's very rare that I do not make a video that's either not related to feminism or Christianity or even Gamergate. And this is one of those times, because I feel this is rather important for me to talk about. Five-year-old boy finds gun, shoots baby brother in the head. I'm going to read the entire thing. CNN, the mother called 9-11, I mean 911, to say her five-year-old boy shot his baby brother with a paintball gun. But it wasn't a paintball gun, it was, an act was a 22 caliber magnum revolver and a nine-month-old boy didn't survive. You know, um, even if it was a paintball gun, it, 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 it's... It would probably be very painful, you know. It could possibly kill the baby if you just, you know, put the paintball gun really close to his head. It might actually kill him. Because remember, babies are very fragile at their age. Authorities are trying to figure out what led to Monday's shooting in Elmo in the northwest corner of Missouri. At this point, foul play is not suspected and it appears at the time the shooting was accidental. The no, no not away country sheriff's officer said. Sheriff Darren White told CNN affirmative KCTV that the baby was in the pay plane when his brother found the gun lying around the bed. And you know, I got a question. Why put a gun in the bed? In, in, in any bed whatsoever? Hell, this is just bad parenting right here. Being irresponsible. Okay? If you want to put a gun somewhere, then the last place you want to put it is some place where a child can reach it. Otherwise, he'll start thinking it's a toy and he'll, you know, start, might accidentally kill someone or break something. But, if you're going to put it in your bed, your own freaking bed, at least lock the doors. Make sure the child doesn't come in. You know? It's pretty much basic stuff. Uh, let's see. When emergency crews arrived, they found that the infant had been shot in the head. The child was flown to Child Ho Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri, where he was pronounced dead, the station reported. Authorities says the gun belongs to a relative, but not the mother. Police are investigating the gun's ownership, KCTV reported. I wonder, you know, if they're... If they actually find this person, the one who owns the gun, they're going to have to arrest him. Because this is just plain bad. I mean, sure, he didn't kill the baby with his own hair hands, but this could have been prevented. You know, this stuff is literally just something that people, adults, should know. To not leave your gun in some place where children can reach it. I mean, duh. The mothers, the mothers, other three children are with relatives, according to the station. The sheriff said guns are rampant in the viral, viral community. We are big supporters of firearms around here. White told CNN affiliated, affiliate KETV. We have a lot of people that own weapons. They hunt, they target shoot. Most people are very safe with them. And this is one of the cases where everything went together in the wrong way. No shit, Sherlock. He added, we got some guys that work here that have little kids of their own. This kind of hits home with them too. They take it personally. Uh, I guess those adults are more responsible than the, other, than the ones that left, literally left a gun... In the freaking bed. Not exactly the smartest thing. Though they say the shootings was accidental, authorities have not determined whether charges will be fled against any adult in any case. Um, me personally, I would say charge the one who bought the gun. At least one guy nearby resident told KCTV she believes the shooting could have been easily prevented. Uh, yes, I totally agree. You know, just some gun safety could have come into play and would have been maybe, you know, preventing the situation. But it's just really sad altogether, neighbor Jessica Hutchins said. 
Again, I totally agree. According to Project Child Save, gun owners should lock unloaded weapons in a safe, vault, or cabinet in accessible to children. Again, I agree. Gun locks should be used in addition to safe storage, and ammunition should be locked away separately from any firearm. Good thinking. Parents should also teach their children that if they find any gun in a house, they should leave it where it is and tell an adult, even if the weapon resembles a toy, the adversary group says. That's true. That's good. That's good. Monday's incident is the latest in a series of high-profile shootings involved children. Among them, a four-year-old girl killed her cousin. Oh, wow. That's really shocking. Also, four in Detroit while playing a gun found under a bed last January. A nine-year-old accidentally killed a shooting instructor in August while firing a submachine gun at an Arizona range. And last month, a two-year-old fatal fatally shot his mother in Idaho Walmart after finding a gun in her purse. And, you know, this this right here is just plain bad ideas. If you're going to own a gun, at least be extra fucking careful. Okay? There, there, gun safety should be a top priority if you're ever going to own a gun. There should be programs to teach you that if you're going to own a gun, you've got to be careful because your child's going to start getting curious on what's in your purse and that sort of stuff. But this situation is, you know, I agree, completely sad because... These events could have been event uh, avoided entirely, but here we are. We're completely fucked up that a child ends up killing another child by accident. And you know what? That child's gonna probably end up with a massive burden in his head. You know that he killed his own brother at the age. Of five. You know, really sad stuff. So, that's all I have to say for now. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.